Welcome back, welcome in to all my friends. If you're new, thank you for clicking on the channel. If you're returning, what the fuck's up? Y'all already know what it is. I'm Calypso. This is Calypso Moon's Ethereal Guidance. And we're about to tap into this energy for you guys. I just want to let you know that this is a spiritual channel. We are spiritual beings. We discuss spiritual topics and we do spiritual teams up over here. So if you're not on your spiritual journey, or um, identifying with any of the spiritual names like star seeds, light workers, chosen ones, twin flames, empaths, then this probably ain't gonna be the channel for you because we're gonna be diving deep into this. There will be spiritual messages, and these are things that are coming from the soul. This is not some shit that's just happening on the 3D. So we do get a little deeper. All right. So it might take you for a loop if you hear me talking about somebody in a past life or this is past life energy or somebody's doing spell work or somebody's got um, energetic ties and soul connections and contracts and shit like that. You're probably going to be lost for a loop. So don't even waste your time. And furthermore, don't waste mine. If you guys love the content, please hit the like button. I am being censored, shadow banned all the above i do have a patreon channel that i'm going to try to upload my more controversial topics the world readings that i do because i'm not just doing this there's a reason that i'm doing this um and it is to bring guidance and clarity to those who have a sole purpose and a sole mission on this planet at this time and a lot of people a lot of nefarious people don't want that getting out there and these platforms are essentially not ever built for that information to be beneficial so um, let's go ahead and get into these energies. Let's see what's going on in the ethereal. <clears throat> we got overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. Woo, there's a lot going on. I said that in the last reading that I just did, and I'm still feeling that same energy. This is, it's giving somebody is overflowing with joy and happiness. There's a lot of contentment happening here. There's a lot of emotions some that could be being brought back up some somebody here is happy like they never thought they'd be and then we got fool's embrace transmuting pain at the bottom of the deck i'm hearing that tony braxton song just let it flow just let go let it flow let it flow let it flow y'all know i can't sing but that was my best tony braxton interpretation so just ride with it just ride with it <laughs> let's see what's going on on the soul level <laughs> my spirit team is saying i'm making y'all take these songs like get in in the with no lube <laughs> that was very vulgar thank you guys but that's how it's coming to me so whatever we gonna get we gonna get into it I'm trying to tone down my cussing a little bit, y'all. Your life is a canvas. Artist, manifestation, creative accountability. Okay, so this is a message for somebody who thinks that everything is going against them at this time, but they're not realizing that you're manifesting these things through your fears and worry. weight of the world boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry this came out in the other reading that i just did so you could think that somebody's projecting onto you but it's really you your worries fears insecurities that are manifesting at this time i'm also getting here too that somebody is learning how to transmute this energy somebody is a fucking full metal alchemist that's what i'm getting I'm also getting somebody who is an empath here and they're learning how to balance. I'm seeing the temperance card. Mm, somebody's figured out the matrix. Okay, well, that's good. Let's see what's happening on the 3D for you. 
for some of you guys there could be somebody sending you energy or projecting energy onto you and you're transmuting it i am picking up the uh, message that somebody is projecting it's okay so there's there could be two groups of people that i'm talking to here somebody here is just now learning how to transmute energy congratulations Welcome to the extended course. <laughs> Welcome to the higher learning. Thank you. You're here. Congratulations. Somebody has figured it out. Like I said, somebody's learning how to transmute that energy. So they've figured out the matrix. They, they're understanding what you focus on and what you put your attention on. You bring forth. Even more so if emotion is behind it. One on one manifestation. Somebody else here is being projected upon evil eye negative energy somebody having bad ill negative thoughts toward you wishing we like to call it praying down on people or wishing bad for you and that can also manifest especially if there's emotion behind that as well um if somebody feels slighted by you that's what i'm getting here also so there's there's two groups let's see what's on the 3d Oh, it's just in 6-6. Six, six. <clears throat> Lake depth. Wasn't I just talking about emotions? So somebody's hiding these feelings, hiding these emotions. Attraction, magnetism, everything I'm saying. Oh my God, what is going on here? What, we were just talking about manifestation. We got attraction, magnetism. You magnetize anything that you focus on, whatever vibration that you're in is what you're attracting. Hmm. Okay. Let's get into a spread, you guys. Um, I want to see what's going on here. I probably will do uh, individual clarification for these. I just did a full spread last time for the other reading I did. Spirit guides, benevolent ancestors, please show me what it is that I need to see. Archangels, please protect me as I intermingle in these energies. I am eternally grateful for your guidance. All right, let's pull some of these to you real quick. I just want like two or three or six, ten. I don't like to do a lot because then you guys forget or I forget what the hell the message was saying anyway or what the cards were saying. So we got wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. So, yeah, that's that projection that we were talking about. We got tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead. Somebody could be trying to slow you down with their projections. We got I psychic ability. Trust your intuition. Yeah. So you could feel you could feel somebody pulling on your energy in this way. We got legs stepping into a new experience. Um yeah, the new experience is somebody here learning how to go from um resistance to allowing. Resistance to allowance. Okay, we got two-faced friend. That's coming up. We got camel, persevere, and you will overcome problems. Yep. November could be very significant to someone. You could be born in November. Um, something could be happening in the fall. We have the moon, changes in your life. So something could be changing in your life in November. We have flowers, happiness. You could be getting some type of happiness in november oh and marriage oh my fucking god in november who having a fall wedding okay y'all invite me okay somebody's getting their flowers i'm hearing everything that you've been manifesting okay so now i'm getting like a mixture of those two energies that i just said earlier somebody learning how to transmute and alchemize energy like the temperance card um, and somebody projecting my eyes at you. 
And it's like now you've learned how, you've you you know how to navigate this. Whoever I'm talking to, somebody has spiritually advanced to where they know how to navigate these energies. They know what's theirs, what's not theirs. They know how to transmute it. They know how to be neutral. They know how to recognize the flowing and ebbings and comings and goings of energies, including their own and including others around them. I'm seeing somebody doing all this with the <laughs> somebody's like a fucking kung fu master when it comes to alchemizing. Wow. And again, I'm hearing Tony Braxton. Just let go. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Hey, everything's going to work out right, you know. Okay. Well, let's see. Let, let us get into it. Tell me about this overflow, overwhelm, plenty, spirit. Oh, shit. I knew this. Because both of these is here. Somebody's sending an overwhelming amount of shit for you to transmute now. Oh, now that this is coming in, somebody's getting their flowers. Somebody know what they're doing. And there's somebody going extra hard in the paint with the five of wands. <sighs> oh, they're trying to create some type of imbalance. But you're rebalancing it out. We could have somebody here doing some type of spell work with this queen of wands in reverse. Trying to create an injustice when it comes to your love life. Yeah. Show me fool's embrace. Oh. Your efforts are futile. <laughs> Somebody's holding on to this shit and they're not letting it go. They're, they're refusing to stop. Oh, this could be somebody's mother. They're embracing whatever conflict or whatever. So again, I'm going back to that energy where somebody feels slighted. And so now they're projecting like, okay, no. Um... I'm also getting here too. Like if you moved away from people in your life, if you severed connections with friends, relationships, family members, these people may not fully understand because they're low vibrational. They're not going to fully understand that I didn't do this because I hate you or I don't want to be a around you or that I don't love you or that I want bad for you or that I'm over here with black candles doing witchcraft on your ass because you hurt me in some type of way. No, I'm getting away from you. Because you're refusing to alchemize your own energy and that shit is polluting me from growth. And that ain't what I'm here for. Y'all, my hair look motherfucking crazy. <laughs> I didn't realize how crazy it looked till the light started coming in more. But anyway. Oh, yeah. Somebody trying to bankrupt somebody. But I feel like spirit is bankrupting this person's energy. Somebody could be getting really depleted trying to project onto you. Tell me about this. Um, your life is a canvas. Somebody doesn't want to take accountability also for how their life turned out. It's like if you made this person mad in some type of way, they're taking everything that ever happened to them in their life and they're projecting it onto you. Wow. Wow. We got the Ace of Pentacles talking about I hit that shit right on the money. They feel like they want the opportunities that you've had. And they feel like it's not fair. Show me weight of the world. We got the Four of Cups that wanted to flip. Almost didn't take it. Yeah, this is definitely telling me that you've cut somebody off. Weight of the world is saying, let it go. It's not yours to carry. Set boundaries. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. I don't know if y'all can see that. Boundaries. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. Hey, focus. Okay, that's the best I can do. Ooh. 
Okay, now my cards is all messed up. Bro. Anyway, so, yeah, now somebody's drowning in their own pity party that they're having over here. And they're trying to attract to you what they're going through. Also getting somebody trying to figure out how to get you back involved into their bullshit. Somebody here could have been like the go-to person that everybody dumped their fucking problems on when they were going through something, expecting you to find a fucking solution for their bullshit that they got themselves into. And you could have placated them and played this role for a very long time, but now it's like you've let it go. You've learned how to transmute that energy. You've learned how to be that fucking kung fu master i'm getting again that's what's coming through and it's like you may have had to let some people go in order to do that you got to figure out your own shit before you keep on trying to formulate and alchemize everybody else's bullshit like you got to figure out what's yours and what's not yours so some people might be upset but show me this lake bitch i'm drowning <laughs> we got the page of cups yeah, this is somebody in their feelings and they don't know how to project them appropriately. They never figured out how to look at this shit. Man, I can't make this shit up. <laughs> they don't know how to alchemize their own feelings. That's what you were there for. To help them understand what they were going through. You freed yourself from these toxic ass relationships. And now we got some people working together here in the background. Okay. How mature of you guys? Show me this attraction magnetism. Man, somebody done magnetized true love into their life. I'm also getting with this that somebody has come into alignment with their higher self. Their higher and lower self has come into alignment. They've alchemized their bullshit. Somebody has gotten rid of all their karma from a past life, or at least a lot of it, in order for them to come into balance. Yeah. Some of you guys, this is resulting in some type of connection with another person. A lot of you, this is just um, you being in alignment. We got the four swords in reverse. This is giving somebody who's trying to come back or somebody's trying to get you out of this energy of being uh, this meditative energy. I'm hearing zero point frequency. I don't know what that means. Uh, I was about to say just zero point gravity. <laughs> what the fuck? Somebody floating? It could be if this lake is here. She had she had this lake floating. It looked like she drowned in the middle. <laughs> we got two people holding their legs, uh, and this is that weird shit. Well, she ain't really holding her legs, but they're both like locked up in that fetal position, scrunched up like that. That could be significant for somebody. And we got Cosmic Womb in reverse. We could be dealing with somebody, somebody, a parent child relationship to where the parent needed you to be parenting them. You were like their child. They were your parent, but you became like the parent to them. I don't know how to else say that. Like the roles flipped or reversed. I'm definitely getting somebody pulling on your energy like they need you, like they're drowning without you. And I'm seeing somebody else here just holding tight to their to their own energy. Somebody's doing some type of self-preservation here. Like, look, we got the sun. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like their energy, it was like, it was magnetizing. It was like. extended to other people i don't know like they were feeding off of it 
I don't know. Taking, 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 but never replenishing. Show me the Empress. The Five of Wands is here because of the Empress. This overflow, overwhelm, and plenty of emotion, conflict, competition is happening because somebody's embracing this pain. They're holding on to pain. Empress. The High Priestess. Somebody's using divination. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say they're not. Somebody secretly using divination. Mm -hmm. And they think they're smart by hiding. Queen of Cups, Nine of Wands in reverse. Someone's trying to act like um, that they're okay. And they're there on top of things. Mm hmm. Show me the Five of Wands, Nine of Cups. Yeah, somebody's found um, self esteem, self worth. They're happy within themselves, and somebody else can't stand this shit. This Empress. And look, every fucking time I say somebody can't, it's the Empress coming out, bro. Bro, I don't know. Shit's getting weird. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you. there's a new contract for somebody here or you've manifested, you've created a new opportunity for yourself. Somebody don't want you to get away. <laughs> I'm hearing camel toe. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with anything. We got the star, yeah. And the ace of cups, bro. <sighs> Why am I saying bro so much? I don't know. <laughs> the star and the ace of cups. This is a divine contract, a divine. The star, the ace of cups, and the three of pentacles. A divine union for somebody. For somebody. This is giving the energy that somebody doesn't want you with someone because they can't feed off of you anymore. If you create that two of pentacles, <clears throat> excuse me. If you create that two of pentacles with somebody where that energy is reciprocating and reciprocating and it's just going back and flowing back and forth between you guys, nobody else can penetrate that. Because the energy is already on a trajected path and it's going back and forth between you guys. It's reciprocating. It's going back. It's getting pushed back. It's getting pushed back. They aren't going to be able to come in and suck the life out of you anymore. And because people don't know how to get that for themselves, they become energetic vampires and they just learn how to take it from other people. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck again. Show me this Four of Cups. Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're releasing everybody else's bullshit. Whatever was keeping you up at night, whatever your problems were being forced on you that weren't yours to carry, you see the light now. You are going for what is yours. And you could have always been afraid to reach for this Ace of Cups that was being offered to you. Because you were you were codependent on these, or you felt that these people needed you. The world in reverse. Somebody don't want you to reach for this new opportunity. Someone doesn't want you to have love extended to you. They're afraid that you're getting this opportunity and that you're never going to come back around. Mm -hmm. the hangman and they're going to be stuck having to watch you be happy <laughs> somebody was saying something to keep you stuck here too somebody was projecting onto your dreams project projecting into your dreams mm -hmm. I ain't have my coffee today either what is going on show me this that bird. 
I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's just out there squawking. Seven of Cups. This is that drowning in emotion again here with this late death. Somebody is definitely overwhelmed in their feelings. They don't want something to come back for you. They're, they're doing everything they can with this magician in reverse. Seven of Swords. Uh, somebody wants someone here to feel like they're never going to be happy in love or that's where the place you're coming from after dealing with some of these um, vampires. They wanted you to walk away with a broken heart. And this is giving bitter, <laughs> bitter beer face, bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, you move right past that shit. Like, ah, it's good. Out my way. Show me the two of cups. <laughs> two of wands. Yes, you're on your path. And this love was destined to be on your path. The strength card. You had the courage to take up and go where you needed to go. We got death at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's risen from the dead. Four of swords in reverse. Risen. Did somebody ain't laying down no more. And death. Wow. Somebody has taken control of their life. And that's the simplest thing. The simplest way I could put this reading. is somebody has taken full control over their life. Full Metal Alchemist. Congratulations. I applaud you. Keep moving forward. Keep spreading love light. Keep being in balance with yourself. And you are about to be rewarded. And I wish you the best.